The arena clock had almost reached 8.30 on the night of March the 24th, 1936. Is some 15,000 people settled in their seats to watch the beginning of the annual Stanley Cup ice hockey eliminations. It was the Olympia Arena in Detroit, where the Red Wings were meeting the Montreal Maroons. The first period ended scoreless, and the second period was much the same. Good, fast ice hockey, but just no scoring. In the third period, both goalies continued to keep their nets clear. And the regulation game ended after 60 minutes of play with the score Detroit nothing, Montreal nothing. But that was just the beginning. For the teams must play until one scores. The first overtime period found Jimmy Ward of Detroit firing a shot which seemed to pass the Montreal goalie. But the referee said, no goal. Detroit fans littered the ice with debris of all type. The game had to be held up while the ice was cleared. Shortly after that period ended with the team still scoreless. Then another period began. And that too also ended without a score. Another period went by. And the clock ticked off the minutes as midnight came and went but neither team had yet scored. Finally, five overtime periods had been played and the teams were still deadlocked. The sixth extra session began and the tired players could hardly skate, much less score. And then it happened. Little Heck Kilray grabbed his puck, passed it to his Detroit teammate, Mad Brunato, in front of the Montreal cage, and Brunato flicked it toward the net. The Montreal goalie made a dive, but the rubber dented the netting and the red light went on as the tired crowd let up a roar for their exhausted heroes. Slowly, the sleepy-eyed hockey fans left the Detroit arena that night as the clock read 20 minutes after 2. They'd been there almost six hours, and they'd watched a hockey game run more than 176 minutes, almost three hours of play, which set a new record that's never been surpassed.